Hey, this is another video under quarantine. It is the 28th of April, still cold and rainy. The Potomac River is expected to go up to 6.1 feet by the end of this week, so we are no longer going to be shad fishing up there for a while. So we are going to be talking about some stripers that are coming in soon, and this is what I like to throw for stripers. I call it the striper popsicle. It's a beyond basic fly. There's really only three to four ingredients. You should have everything to make it. And it has amazing action in the water because it's marabou, so it flutters, does this. So we like to cast it down in the cross, swing it, hold it in the current, bring it back, roll cast. Mostly at dusk for stripers. We get a lot of catfish, largemouth, we get smallmouth. Pretty sure we've heard gar and anything else that's in the water is going to eat this. It's a large fly. It's basic as basic gets. When you wet it, it has a perfect baitfish silhouette to it. This one recently got a dunk in the aquarium. It's a good thing George didn't try to eat it. Since we last spoke, he has eaten my daughter's guppy. And we got two new crayfish, which if they get eaten, I don't care. But he ate the guppy, and then yesterday he bit the tail off of the bait. So we are still mad at George. But this is it. It can be any color marabou you want. It's basically a, a spay fly that just has weight to it. It's a big favorite of Thomas's when we're steelhead fishing. Dan Morgan and I sat in the back of a drift boat once and typed these in tequila sunrise pattern colors for salmon and steelhead, which the soldiers were catching on the rainwater spit. So let me teach you how to tie this now. It's a big hook. It's going to be a size 2 4 inch long. And I am going to stick that in here. I am going to, before I start anything, I'm going to take some mostly non-toxic wire. I'm going to wrap almost the entire shit. This just gives this fly some extra weight to get down fast while you're doing it in heavy current, which is usually where we're fishing for stripers. Okay, pink, 210 denim. The reason we're using pink is I'm going to finish this fly with pink. You can think of this fly as Neapolitan ice cream. You could absolutely make it in pink, white, and brown. In fact, I should do that as a demonstration. I've already picked out chartreuse, bright yellow, and hot pink. Okay. So that's the start of it. This fly already looks pretty cool just because it is chartreuse and pink. What I'm going to do next is show you what the fly ideally should look like. Said it's a Neapolitan. This is a crude drawing of a hook. It's going to have your first color, second color, third color. There's no flash in this. There's nothing else. It is just going to be weight, weight, three colors of preference, marabou. Marabou is something you need to pick out by hand. These are, I think it's chartreuse is from Melinda's. And then the yellow one, that is the next color. The yellow one just said Zuddy's leg color. That's the deal with that. So all I'm going to do is show you how I pick out my marabou. I can go through this and automatically see these ones on top are going to be the longest, and then I inspect those to see how long and fibrous and soft these are. I'm looking for a soft quill that can bend. So I'm going to pull this one out as choice B, and then I'm going to look for my A. Jump the gun on that one a little early. This is nice. Let's see what I don't like. This one's nasty. Some of them are kind of just crusty. Some are short. That's a nice one. This is what I'm looking for. All right, I found the one I want. So look at the length on these big bird feathers here versus my first choice. See, this one is much more delicate in the air. So I'm going to clean off this part. And then I've got a plastic bag over here where I put all the leftover feather pieces. All right, my next color is going to be chartreuse. And I can look through and automatically I can tell this one is a no-go. It's gross looking. That, that'll be a woolly bugger tail at some point. This is a contender right here. Pull that one out. 
long, especially this is going to be the middle feather. These are some really webby ones. That I might save for an actual steelhead try. This is why you want to go through your marabou when you buy it with a shot shot hand. Take a look at these two. Let's go with the first choice. It's a little more dense in here. Go peel off all of that. Put it in the Ziploc bag. And the last piece is going to be hot pink. Right there. That's it. This just happens to be a real look at that. Look how slow these move. You can tell that I wouldn't use this one. That's woolly bugger material or braided damsel. You know I don't braid that damsel. My extended damsel braid is good. That's a crusty nasty one, very thick. So what I'm gonna do is tie in these three colors and then I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of fluorescent pink solar oil. And then it's dinner time. We are air frying Greek chicken fingers on the rotisserie and then I'm making homemade gyro bread. We've got some red onion left and some iceberg lettuce. A little more of an exotic quarantine meal. So I got just the tip, tie that in right around with a lead wire, hopefully mostly non-toxic and safe. Wraps don't have to be pretty on the first two, but they should be nice and clean as best you can do. You can wrap these into the grooves on the wire like I do with the mono thread on the worms. Make sure you're not wrapping over anything else. This is when a rotisserie vise comes in handy. Rotary vice, rotisserie from chicken, or from out the box in my opinion. My last night was coconut rice and Wegmans seasoned black, Caribbean seasoned black. Mumbo sauce. You don't want any of these to be crushed. All right, I'm starting to get to the stem here. Let's see if I can pick up that. So this is the part I don't want. So I am just gonna take this one more time, bend it. And I'm going to just wrap off that chunk and cut it. It does not have to look pretty. This is going to be covered up under two layers. So a couple extra wraps just to make sure it's going to stay where it is. If you've got a toothbrush or some kind of dubbing, make sure they're all out. Now we're going to do chartreuse. Everyone should have one to two colors, maybe three, of marabou at home. You should have dumbbell eyes. You should have a long shank hook. Everybody can make this. Notice, I'm tying it in so the fibers are going this way. Concave, not convex. Or it's slider, not popper. And I'm going to start wrapping on this. Nice being able to talk to you. I really haven't talked to anybody all day, other than the wife and the kid and some of her teachers during the online classes. And you got your second color. You can see just in the, there's no air current in here. Hold my breath. And they're still moving. That's the kind of material you want. Sapinski said, motion without movement. Now this one has got to be tied in the prettiest. This is the outermost one for sticking to that. It's just like a femoral. It's those little dancing flower things with Avatar. I talked about these materials and why I select them for this pattern on my podcast and video on how to pick out materials for bass flies. Just wrapping this in. Hopefully I can get all the way up and just past that dumbbell eye so I can have a little piece going over. Some of the larger wraps just to make sure I get all right. Right up.
up to that dumbbell. I'm just going to go over and under. Back up onto the front. And I'm going to build this up. Or so light and lofty that it is getting caught even forward on me. Build up a nice mad. You're going to want to fish this. The Snow White Damsel. You're going to want to fish this. With the non slip mono loop. Preferably on a short sink tip made for streamers. It's done. I just have to solarize it. It's amazing just how fluffy these are to dry and when they're wet, how much they just collapse on themselves. All right, so I'm going to be using Solar Res UV Cure fluorescent pink. Stuff's pretty goopy, so I'm going to clean off as much as possible. Get them back, and I'm just going to paint that on. And I've got my rechargeable light. Doesn't that thing just glow under UV? That's it. My take on a Western popsicle fly tied with all marabou and weighted. Nothing fancy. Fish it. You'd be very surprised what's going to eat this thing in the water. Try this before your next clouser. Trust me. See you next time.